everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel welcome to an autumn outfits video now this is kind of like a styling video um but mainly i'm just going to be taking you through my favorite pieces that i've bought and that i've accumulated over the years for autumn some new some old just basically the staple pieces that i wear day in day out that help me build up a good capsule collection wardrobe for the autumn months and that are really good pieces also to take with me through into the winter as well. So I just wanted to quickly say that I am not feeling great at the moment. Um, I had a bit of bad news last week. If you follow me on Instagram you'll probably know what that was all about. So if I do seem a bit like deflated and not as sprightly as I normally do then that is why but I really wanted to get this video filmed for you guys because I didn't want the pieces that are new to go out of stock and also if I don't start doing more autumn content it's going to be winter before we know it and then there will be no point in me doing it so I just wanted to get this out um, it's the beginning of autumn now late September so this gives you plenty of time to get your wardrobe together and we've only really entered the last week or so into these colder months so it's all still pretty new to us um, it feels like summer was only last week so I haven't dived fully into coats and huge oversized chunky jumpers and that sort of thing just yet I'm just sort of getting out my leather leggings and my slightly thinner knits and jackets and that sort of thing at the moment. I'll obviously do another video similar to this when winter comes, when December hits and it's freezing cold. Probably will be freezing cold before then, but you know what I mean. So as I said, this video is basically just my favourite pieces for autumn. Some trend-led pieces that I feel like are really good for right now. Um, and most of these pieces you can take through to winter and to next autumn and hopefully the year after that because they're versatile and I do tend to buy pieces that I can re-wear season after season. So I have a few categories, jackets, trousers, tops and some shoes as well and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so I'm going to start with tops and there are a few tops that I feel are great for right now. Um, I am a wearer of basics, I wear basic vests in the summer, basic polo necks in the winter, basic t-shirts in the spring, that's just the way that I do it. I have everything in like black, white, grey, brown, nude um, and I just put them on like a constant cycle and mix and match with the rest of my wardrobe. But these are three tops or jumpers or knits or whatever you want to call them that are very good for now and all of them really are kind of on trend. So the first one you may have seen if you watched my Zara haul, my most recent one, um, but this is basically called an arm warmer and as you can see it's a roll neck and it's just got sleeves so it just sits like that over the top of a vest top I love this these are everywhere at the moment very on trend this was only 19.99 from Zara um, I believe it's sold out there are some other similar ones around on the high street though so you should be able to pick one up but I love this color this like minky color it looks great over a white or a cream vest top and it also looks great over a black vest top or a black bodysuit with some black leather trousers it's a really nice look for autumn because it's not too heavy because it's only half a top um, so, so you're not going to overheat in it but it does give that nice autumn cosy feel with the roll neck and this sort of ribbed material it looks like a jumper but it is going to keep you nice and cool it's just great for the autumn months and I love this colour as well for autumn as you can see I do like a little bit of brown at the moment um, and this is a lovely addition to my wardrobe I've worn it a couple of times not loads because like I said it's not really been cold enough um, apart from in the last week to sort of get out my jumpers and wear them without getting a little bit hot and stuffy but I am loving this one of my favourite pieces I wear it in a size medium but I think it was like a one size fits all sort of scenario I will link this exact one down below um, and also some similar ones as well just in case it does come back into stock um, I don't know if it will but just in case now top number two is again from Zara um, this is again new season so hopefully you should be able to get your hands on this one last time I checked it wasn't sold out um, but it's just this gorgeous long sleeved kind of polo neck top um, it's got a polo neck collar um, and a few buttons down the middle it's obviously black but this does come in I know at least one other colour, like a minky sort of, similar to this kind of colour, um, which would also be great, but this is super thin. I don't know how well 
you can see, but it's kind of like a see-through fabric. Um, so it's really lightweight, great for layering. This is the sort of thing that right now I'd be pairing underneath a trench coat or a leather jacket with some jeans. It just gives you that nice extra layer because it's long sleeved, but again, it's not a thick, heavy knit that is gonna drown you and make you feel boiling hot. I've seen so many like polo shirts with this kind of collar around recently, very on trend at the moment. I had a couple um, in this like the end of summer and now leading into the colder months obviously I picked up this long sleeve one as well such a great basic it's a great alternative to a plain black long sleeve polo neck that like I said I normally wear throughout the autumn and winter just something a little bit different and very on trend and I think I'm also going to pick up the other color in this as well because I've worn this so much already it's an absolute staple finally for tops I have this vest now this I actually got from Zara again, surprise, surprise. I think it was probably around like December, January time when these sort of things first became a trend. Now I love a thick knitted chunky vest. I think they're great for layering. This kind of thing looks so good over a white shirt with some leather trousers or like a white shirt dress with some chunky boots. But it also looks great dressed up with some leather leggings and some heels on its own for an evening. You still get that cozy autumn vibe because this is such a thick chunky like cable knit material but obviously it's sleeveless so it's not too hot still nice and practical for this time of year i'm so pleased that this trend has continued into this autumn because i really didn't get my wear out of this enough last year so i'm pleased i'm able to bring it back out and get some good use out of it obviously because this is last year i don't think it's still available on zara but there are similar vests everywhere at the moment h m are doing some brilliant knitted vests there are so many lovely ones in black white cream a few different styles um, and super affordable as well i know lots of them have been sold out i'll try and find one that is very similar and in stock in most sizes for you guys but yeah again it's such a staple piece very on trend and great for this time of year now i'm gonna pre-warn you from this point onwards there is a lot of leather <laughs> Leather is one of my favourite materials to wear in the colder months. I just love leather trousers, leather jackets, leather everything at the moment. Um, so I do have, as far as my trouser category goes, I just have a few pairs of leather trousers to show you. You'll have to excuse my hair, I only just curled it and it's not really dropped out how I wanted it to yet, so it's a bit... Um, but anyway, yeah, the first pair of leather trousers. So here, let me just take them off the hanger. I actually have a pair of well, faux leather joggers. So these obviously elasticated waist and then they also have an elasticated cuff at the bottom. These are last year from Zara and I got them probably about a year ago now. Um, but they still have these exact ones or very, very similar ones on the website. So that shouldn't be a problem. These are great. Again, such a versatile piece. These are perfect to wear with a big oversized chunky knit and some trainers or like a t-shirt and a blazer and trainers but equally you can dress these up i think these would look great with a chunky vest like this and some heels for the evening such a great evening look really effortless but also really chic as well i wear these in a size extra small from zara and they fit me really nicely i've sort of battled with zara sizing a bit recently um, just because i normally take an extra small in trousers but i feel like maybe they've made their trousers a bit smaller or I've got a little bit fatter. That's probably the answer. Someone did make that comment on my last Zara haul, so thank you very much for making me feel even more insecure about that. Anyway, I love these joggers. I think a faux leather pair of joggers is such a good pair of trousers to have in your autumn wardrobe. Like I said, so versatile, easy to pair with trainers and heels. Also a little bit different to the leather legging, which we will come on to in a minute. It just gives you a little bit more diversity it helps you add leather into your wardrobe without just wearing the same leather jacket and pair of leather leggings. It's just something a little bit different, very chic. These ones also from Zara are a great look. They're a great faux leather. They're not plasticky or shiny. They don't make a squeaking noise when you walk, anything like that. Like these could be real leather, obviously they're not, but the quality of the material is great. Very expensive looking, not a cheap pleather at all. And price wise, I think these are probably around maybe 25 to 30 pounds, so really affordable as well. Now, moving on to the leather legging. Couldn't do an autumn video without mentioning a pair of leather leggings. Probably can't do any video, actually, without mentioning a pair of these. Now, these are from Topshop. I got these 
last year again um, and I love them. Prior to purchasing these, I have bought Zara leather leggings in the past and I don't like the fit of them. They're not high-waisted enough for me. They're kind of uncomfortable. They slip down when I walk. Um, they just don't fit nicely. These Topshop ones are great. They are such a stretchy material. I don't know if, how well you can see that stretch there, but they stretch so nicely. They do have an elasticated waist, but they also have a zip at the side as well. They're a great length for me. Again, super nice leather material, not plasticky. It doesn't squeak when you walk. Really, really good quality. I have worn these, at a guess, I'd probably say about 100 times. Like, I wear these so often. They are such a great staple. Whenever I don't know what to wear at this time of year, I will just put these on. Again, such a great thing to pair with some chunky knits. They look great with a jumper and a nice long wool coat and some chunky boots. Equally, again, a pair of heels and a white oversized shirt and it's the perfect dinner outfit. I wear these in a size eight from Topshop. They are still available, even though I got them last year. They've bought them back out again this year, which is perfect. They are the best leather leggings, faux leather leggings that I've ever tried. So if you are looking for a good pair that fit you nicely, that are comfortable, that are high-waisted, that are tight on the leg, then these are the ones for you. Like I said, I wear them in a size eight and they fit really nicely. They're also available in tall and petite as well, which is brilliant. So well done, Topshop, for that. And finally, these are not really, well, I suppose you could class them as leather trousers because they're sort of like a croc kind of material texture. These again have an easy access zip down the side. These are from Zara, these ones, and you may have seen them in my most recent Zara haul. I love these. I think it's really nice to have something different as opposed to the two pairs of fur leather trousers that I've just showed you. These ones are slim fit. I wouldn't say they're as tight as the leggings. They don't fit like a legging. They fit more like a cigarette trouser, which I love because it's different. It's not something that I have. These I think would be great for work. If you do have maybe slightly more relaxed office, not that anyone's even going into work at the moment, but future thinking. If you do have a bit of a, more, of a more relaxed office, you could pair these with a white shirt, a blazer and some court heels or something like that. Equally, I wore these the other day with a long maxi cardigan um, and a t-shirt tucked in and just some trainers for a really casual look. And I've also worn them with an oversized white shirt and some heels as well for dinner. So again, like everything I've already mentioned, so easy to dress up and down. And that is what we look for in a staple wardrobe. You want things you can rewear so many different ways. And these, you definitely can. I got these in a size small. Now in my Zara haul, I had them on in a size extra small and they fitted me fine. And then when I looked back at me wearing them, I thought they don't look like they fit you fine. They look like they're a bit tight. So I did purchase the small and I think I'm just gonna keep the small and return the extra small. Um, just because they look better, they are a little bit loose around the waist, but I think I'd much rather that than them being too tight. So I am wearing a size small in these and they were super affordable, I think $25.99. So again, not too expensive. Right, so now we can move on to a few jackets I have to show you. Now, this one is a new one that I was very kindly gifted from Bash, which is an amazing brand that I'd never shopped at before, but they very kindly sent me some pieces that I chose from their website and this was one of them and I am obsessed with this leather jacket. I never really buy real leather jackets. I always tend to just stick to faux leather just because I feel like you can get um, a really good finish and good quality faux leather jacket. So I never have splurged on one, but this one is beautiful. I've worn it quite a few times already. It's this really nice oversized sort of biker fit. It's not terribly long. It sort of cuts me off just on my hips, not cropped or anything, but it's not super long like a lot of oversized leather jackets are. This one is a really nice size because I can fit a hoodie or a thick jumper underneath it, which is great. There's nothing worse than wearing a really thick jumper with a tight jacket over the top and you feel like you can hardly move your arms. Um, that of course doesn't happen with this. Also has zippers on the arms as well so you can make them even wider. This is definitely one of my favourite pieces that I have got so far this autumn. I haven't actually bought anything bar one thing um, this month. I tried to not purchase anything the month of September. Um, it'll be October actually by the time this video goes up so I probably would have bought quite a lot of stuff but um, in the whole month of September I only bought one thing um, clothes wise that is and that was because I had a wardrobe malfunction whilst I was out so I had to buy a replacement outfit but apart from that I didn't buy anything else so all the pieces that you're seeing here that are new um, I purchased 
late August because I purchased my Zara order for my most recent haul late August time and then everything else will either be an old piece that I purchased maybe a few seasons ago or something that's been gifted. So I'm quite proud of myself, I managed to go a whole month without really buying anything. Um, sustainable fashion is the way forward. I know I'm not perfect but I'm really really trying to invest less in fast fashion. I know I buy a lot from high street stores, mainly that's just because of my budget. Um, but I am trying to buy less and just trying to buy staple pieces that I know are going to last me. This jacket is one of those things. It's an amazing quality jacket. It's beautiful. It fits me so nicely. And I just know that not only am I going to get my wear out of it this autumn, but probably for the next five, six autumns, I'll be wearing this leather jacket. You can't go wrong with a leather jacket. Everyone needs one in their wardrobe, I think. It's perfect for over like a knitted dress with some chunky boots. It's great for a night out with some mum jeans and some heels. It's perfect with joggers for during the day. The possibilities are endless and I love this one. I have it in a size two now. I don't know what that equates to in European sizes, but um, that's the one that I'm wearing and you can see what it looks like on me. So for reference, I'm about five foot four and I normally wear a size 10 in jackets. So next up we have a blazer because I can't film any sort of video without mentioning the word blazer and showing you guys a new blazer because I have a problem. Um, so this is a faux leather one which I also got from Zara and that was also featured in my most recent Zara haul. I love this one. I think it's such a great addition to my blazer collection. It's so different to any other blazers that I have. In my opinion anyway, I do have a few other black blazers. I don't have a faux leather one. Um, and it just adds a little bit of something different to an outfit. It's a really nice size. Um, it's oversized already. I do have the medium as well and I'm still debating about which one to keep because this is the small and I have the medium which I showed in my most recent Zara haul but I can't decide. What I would like to do is keep them both and keep the medium to wear um, belted like as a blazer dress and keep this one to wear like with trousers because I do love the oversized fit but with the medium the shoulders are just that little bit wider and it makes me look very wide up top and very boxy which sometimes I don't mind but doesn't quite work with that style of blazer. This one definitely fits me nicer, so if you're after a nice oversized fit, just stay true to size with this. I think it's a great price for a faux leather blazer of this quality. Um, this was $49.99, which is a good price for any sort of blazer, really, in my opinion. It is good quality. Again, it's this really nice, soft faux leather. Not shiny, not squeaky. Nice and thick as well. Obviously, it's fully lined, but it looks expensive. It looks like a really good quality, and it looks like it's going to last me for a long time. I just cannot wait to start wearing this properly with a nice little dress and some chunky boots or some blue mum jeans and a white t-shirt and trainers. Again, I'm even annoying myself now with how much I'm saying this, but this is so versatile. You can wear this so many different ways. It's such a great addition to any autumn capsule collection wardrobe. Oh, and I'm just reading that the lining is made from 100% recycled polyester, which is great. Well done, Zara. If you're looking for a new blazer to add to your collection, this could be the one. Now we've done leather jacket, leather blazer. Now it's time for my third favorite jacket or coat for the autumn time and it's a trench now this one you're all gonna hate me it's no longer available but i don't want to buy a new one just for the sake of this video this is the one that i always wear this is the one that i love and like i said i'm really trying to re-wear the pieces that are already in my wardrobe and not buy new just for the sake of it um so i know it's frustrating that you can't get your hands on this exact one because I know how much you guys love it. The link for this trench is my most asked question on Instagram, without a doubt. I get asked at least every single day where this is from. Um, and I hate having to tell you guys that it's not available. I got this um, from Topshop, I think February, mid-February, end of February time. So it did not get the spring that it deserved because obviously by March, we were all in lockdown, so I couldn't wear it properly. I think it got like two wears. Um, and then I just packed it away and summer was here. So I was very, very excited to be able to get this back out and wear it properly. I love it. It's a beautiful length. It has these gorgeous ties on the sleeve, which I think are my favorite bit. And I think that's why you guys love it so much as well, because the shape of it is just beautiful. It's got these nice wide sleeves, which, which sort of act as like a bit of a balloon sleeve. Um, it's got a beautiful tie, lovely detailing around the back. It just, is the perfect trench really in my opinion 
Um, there is a very, very similar one on ASOS at the moment, which has this kind of similar sleeve. It looks to me like a similar shape, so I will link that one down below for you as well. But any sort of trench coat is going to work well in the autumn. Um, I think they're a staple, they're a must-have for this time of year. This one is heavy. This one is not like the lightest trench that you could get. You probably could find a really nice lightweight one that's a really good like throw-on coat. This one is definitely heavier, um, so it is thicker. So it's going to keep you warmer, which is good and bad. But any outfits that I create with this would look exactly the same as with any other trench coat that you guys may have or that you can get your hands on. But if you do manage to find this in store by some miracle or in Depop or whatever, then for reference, I'm wearing it in a size eight and it's the perfect fit. Now, just for a couple of pairs of shoes, I have been wearing a lot recently and know that I will be wearing it for the next couple of months. So the first pair are a pair of chunky boots. Now, these ones are from ASOS. And I've worn these so much already since I got them. They are real leather. I've had these for ages and not had the chance to wear them because we had a heat wave in September. Um, so finally I got to wear them for the first time the other day and I love them. These are super chunky, a lovely pleated sole, um, a really nice thick elasticated band down the side and then these little loopholes both at the front and at the back. What I love about these is they come up quite high on your legs so they're a really flattering shape. These are sold out at the moment, I think. I'm gonna leave the link down below just in case, but on ASOS there are some very, very similar ones for a much cheaper price. I think these were 80 pound, 90 pounds. You can get pretty much exactly the same for half the price. So I will definitely leave some similar ones down below. But a good pair of chunky black boots is a necessity for this time of year. These look amazing with leather leggings and like a black oversized blazer, but they also look great with dresses as well. You can really grunge up a pretty dress with a nice pair of chunky boots. So love these. Next up, I have another pair of boots. Now these, you may think you're just showing us the same pair of boots again. No, these are slightly different. These are more of like a Chelsea boot style. Again, with the cleated sole, which I love, not as clumpy and they don't come up as high. So a little bit more subtle if you're looking for a chunky boot but you want something that is maybe less in your face. A little bit more classic as opposed to trend led. Um, whilst I think the ASOS ones are great and I love them, these also probably are more timeless. Now these are from Bash. Again, a lovely gifted item that I received from them. The quality of these is incredible, incredible. I think they're such a beautiful boot. Again, so easy to wear. I'd wear these exactly the same way that I'd wear the ASOS ones with a nice pair of leather leggings or leather trousers, an oversized blazer or a trench coat or a long wool coat with some mum jeans and an oversized chunky cream knit or something like that. Again, possibilities are endless. Also, these fit true to size. I've got my normal size, which is 38, and they fit me perfectly. Oh, and these are real leather as well. So two pairs of amazing real leather boots. Obviously, I do wear trainers a lot as well throughout autumn but instead of talking about trainers I thought I would show you guys my loafers now these ones I got from eBay right at the beginning of spring I think and again like everything else I've hardly had a chance to wear them really um, I wore them a couple of times but I'm really excited now to hopefully get my wear out of them in the autumn I know that these are slip-on loafers so you may be thinking your feet are gonna get chilly um I think they'll be all right. I'm not going to wear them on freezing cold days. I just think some loafers like this with an oversized jumper and some black mum jeans would look great. Loafers go with everything. They make an outfit really smart as well. So if I didn't want to wear a chunky pair of boots or a pair of trainers, then this is a really comfortable option, but it's a little bit smarter as well. So like if I do have a meeting or something to go to, I'm going to look a little bit more well presented. Now, these are so similar to the Gucci slip-on loafers. And um, I got these from eBay. And they're an amazing price and they've worn pretty well. Not that I've worn them loads, but the quality of them seems to be quite good. They even have a little heart on the sole, which I know the Gucci ones have. So if you are looking for basically an exact copy of the Gucci loafers, then these are the ones for you. They come in a few other different colours as well. Um, and I think they do the ones with like the bees on. And you probably will be able to find the ones that aren't slip on as well, which would probably be a bit more appropriate for this time of year, but... I just love the look of the slip-on ones. And with regard to ordering these on eBay, I got my normal size, which is a size 5, a 38, and they fit great. And I don't think they took that long to come. It was quite a while ago now since I ordered them, but I think maybe about two weeks and they arrived, so not too bad. And they were a fraction of the price of the Gucci ones. I think they were like 30 or 40 pounds. So that is it. That is my favourite pieces for autumn, the pieces that I've been wearing loads and that I know I'm going to continue to wear 
for the next couple of months and into winter as well. I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, I feel like I was a bit all over the place, but hopefully you got the information that you needed. And if you do have any questions about anything that I've shown you, uh, then just drop me a comment or uh, message me on Instagram or whatever, and I will get back to you. Let me know if you think I've missed anything out of this little collection and if there's a staple item that you guys think that I need in my autumn wardrobe. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a like. And if you are new to my channel, I would love it if you subscribed. And I will see you on Sunday with another video. Bye.